this is indigo eyes art and one of your favorite days monday mandalas and since mother's day just passed today's mandala would focus on honoring the mothers and i also wanted to mention that i'm not sure if you know that for hindus every day is a mother's day motherhood is given the pedestal position in hindu society so they honor worship and celebrate their mother every day seek her blessings every morning by touching her feet mother's role as an educator is rightly praised in in the scriptures uh, which is or i'll take a quote a teacher is tenfold superior to a mere lecturer a father is a hundredfold to a teacher and a mother is a thousandfold to a father so mother is worthier of reverence than father or teacher according to our scriptures and the hindu culture teaches us or everyone to consider all women as forms of the divine mother so having said this let's draw our mandala in honor of our mom Okay, so my circle is drawn and I have, I have an image to make that came through meditation. And uh, as I was explaining about the Hinduism and moms, so I'm not trying to make this mandala and all my explanation about Hinduism, but I thought we could all learn from this and it might be a novel information for the Western world. Also, as Sri as Sri uh, Ram Krishna explained, he said it is in the sphere that Indian thought, with its spiritual view of life, has much to contribute to study the feet of men and women, both in East and the West. So, in a way, you know, the new generation could learn, and uh, some of us, the older people, <laughs> grew up with this. So, as I was saying. One's mother is the treasure house of all bliss, love, and success. So the so you might say, why do we say that? It's because the mothers play an active role in a child's upbringing. As we all know, no one can assume her role, and she is irreplaceable. irreplaceable. And it is rightly said where women are honored there the gods are pleased but where they are not honored no sacred right is fruitful there and um, in uh, hindu philosophy goddesses so uh, are called ma m a a so the word ma in hindi comprises of consonant m a that's ma and vowels two vowels a a so this consonant pertains to the heart which evokes the emotions of love, joy and happiness while the vowel relates to anand shakti meaning the power of joy. So um, for example Ma Durga, Durga is everyone is familiar with this goddess and she rides a tiger so she is considered uh, and the Icha Shakti. Shakti is power. Icha is will. So she is considered the power of will. So Lakshmi, Ma, is considered the power of activity. And Saraswati is considered the power of knowledge. So in a way, if you want knowledge, you know, the students studying and then we... Uh, call upon Ma Saraswati. So the earth mothers, therefore, they strive hard to make sure that her child is well nourished. His activities are directed by her will and acquire proper knowledge. That is why every mother indeed can be seen to play a key role in the development of every one of us. And so therefore for Hindus um, or in Hinduism, the culture, our worship of the mother is of paramount importance and our dependency on mothers is a necessity for our successful existence. So I think this uh, image seems to be clean, to be finished and I would start coloring it. 
it does come out to be really serene for me it seems i like it and you guys can write in the comments uh, what you think of it or what you think of all the explanation that i'm giving but i'm gonna start coloring it so as i was saying about the motherhood so motherhood is a spiritual transformation of wifehood okay the wife may and does demand and take but the mother fe feels it her uh, that it's her privilege to give if woman as wife is socially significant then woman as a mother is spiritually glorious so the culture of the hindu trains the people uh, to look upon all women as forms of the one divine mother and the the one is durga because she is the main the goddess and the rest are forms of her according to the traits or the qualities okay so i'll repeat the sentence that the culture of hindus trains them to look upon all women as forms of the one divine mother and i'm repeating only because i want everyone to take this message home and uh, uh, you know work on it and uh, as i said this this reminds me of a story of ganesha you know the uh, the god who has an elephant head the story about how he was born and how he got an elephant head so shiva lord shiva and parvati they are his parents and they before ganesha they had one son named kartike so one day parvati said to kartike that she is going to take a bath and he should not let anyone enter the house she put him on the door uh, because the bath is in the pool and she did not want anyone to come in a few minutes later shiva came came home i mean this is his home he is kartike's dad parvati's husband so kartike let him in when parvati saw this she was furious and she said to herself that she is going to make a son who will have loyalties only to her that is the mother so she obtained clay and she put on her body this clay as a mask and then she took that clay from the body and made a little boy like 6 years old and then uh, made him alive so this was ganesha so now she told ganesha to stay on the door and not let anyone in uh, as she is going to take a bath so a little while later as usual uh, shiva came home and wanted to go in but ganesha stopped him and said my mother is taking a bath and her orders are not to let anyone in shiva was surprised to see a 6 year old boy guarding the door and said okay but this is my house also and i want to go in but ganesha won't let him in because he was following his mother's orders that was that were important to him and they are still important for us um um uh, so shiva tried giving various reasonings to him including that this means he said that uh, he is ganesha's dad uh, parvati's husband but ganesha won't hear it finally shiva got very angry and a fight erupted between both of them the 6 year old ganesh who was who had all the capabilities of uh, being a warrior and he's called a ganesha gan it means he is the god of the soldiers so a fight erupted and during the fight finally uh, ganesha's head got chopped off so he died and now when parvati heard this she was really upset she was very uh, very um, grief stricken and furious and she demanded lord shiva to bring her son back which usually they can't so shiva this time said okay uh if my uh, he sent his two soldiers in one of the directions and said just go straight and whichever animal they find first the first animal they see they should bring the 
head of that animal. And uh, when the soldiers came back and they said they only found, the first anim animal they found was an elephant. So the elephant head was placed on the body of the little Ganesha. And that, this is how he got the elephant head. So meaning, meaning that, um, that the, that following orders of, of a mom, they are very important in, in Hindu culture. Even for me, even if let's say I am ignoring my parents or I haven't called home, then my father brings my mom to call because when the mom calls, we cannot ignore or we cannot say no to anything. And it, So, and then there is an um, example of uh, Sri Ram, the god in human form, right? Rama and Sita, when he came to earth, um, if everyone knows, this is how we celebrate the Wali. That was the, uh, the victory of good over evil. So, even him, th the god in human form, as a child, a young adult, a married householder, even as a king, he gives he gives credence to the saying that mother is the first guru. She is indeed the first god. He taught by example that mother's blessings blessing is integral to success. Sri Ram teaches the world that the source of bliss and blessings is at the feet of Ma, the mother. And another story that could go, that goes with this is, and I hope you like it, is uh, again of Ganesha that I just said, uh, who had the elephant head. So the story is that he had uh, one brother, like I said, an older brother called Kartike, who rides a peacock. So in Hinduism, every god and goddess has an animal as a pet that they ride on but these animals are not just the animals they are extension of these gods meaning they display their uh, nature and they are very closely related uh, so anyways Ganesha rides a mouse now Kartike wanted to know from his parents who is superior in knowledge between both of them so Shiva said both of you go around the world and whoever finishes the round first, uh, you know, would be the winner. So Kartike was very happy to hear this because he rides a peacock and he started making fun of Ganesha that how fa fast can he go around the world on a mouse? So while Kartike went off, he was confident of being superior. Kartike went off on his peacock, uh, you know, to make the round around the world. While Ganesha made the round around his parents and he started just going circling around his parents. Meaning that our world is at our parents' feet. Uh, so when Kartika returned and heard all this, he admitted that Ganesha is correct and is of superior intellect. So here the take home message is, uh, yes, we all go to all the um, pilgrimages and, uh, you know, uh, to the temples and stuff but basically if we can do things for our parents that is the biggest pilgrimage that our world is in their feet indeed so as um, if I should say further a child as I was saying a child perceives mother as source of all affection love care beauty security and uh, you know protection happiness knowledge and all that stuff so the same characteristic principles are attributed to the universal divine mother in durga so durga is the divine mother and uh, when she is and she takes the form as she is needed the so kali who had to uh, destroy the demons also then durga changes into kali and so forth so meaning 
meaning everyone says that there are too many gods and goddesses in hindu culture but basically there are one god and goddess and the rest are uh, extensions or according to the qualities they are the forms of that god and goddess but what i was trying to say is that in mother's love there is no selfishness wife and children may desert a man but his mother will never desert him a mother loves her child perhaps a little more than that a mother represents colorless love that knows no barter and a love that never dies so who can have such love you know that can never die and um, it's pure and colorless so only mother not the son nor the daughter nor the wife so she is the living personal god for each of us so a uh, as we say that a mother is an object of great love one is able to realize god what is god god is love love is god or a smile on a child's face is god so it's not like um a, a special entity sitting somewhere is god so this is where we can you know um please god doing things for the little children or the poor and so forth but i was saying that one is able to realize god through love so ecstasy of feeling devotion and love are the means of feeling or realizing god through love i have to use the gold color i think i didn't use it as much in this mandala but i think the figure of the woman the, it really came along nicely but i really don't know how to sketch and that's why i dread um but i dread making those but whatever comes in meditation like i said whatever the figure might come we can make an abstract if we cannot draw but um i guess i could draw this person here and i think she represents like a kind mom <laughs> i'm hoping i really want to go on and on in this mandala making those fruits and stuff flowers but there is no space however uh, the stars now that that kind of gives it a very serene um look or feel and somehow my birds whenever i draw them they always need a crown so there is a king bird who's eating the apple or something and the rest are just the you know his subjects but they were different they were a smaller crown okay so um coming back to the mo- mother what i was saying is that um now this is about the hindu culture that the gods create and maintain the universe this is what we say and destroy the evil but the power with the, with which these functions are performed is called shakti shakti is energy the universal energy and that is performed by the divine mother so god only he maintains the universe but he needs the mother uh because uh she has the she has the supreme power or the energy to carry out those functions and here uh this is visible in the story of uh, durga the goddess who ri- who rides the tiger the story is of uh, durga and the demon called mahishasur so in the battles so first the ba- there was battle between devas and the demons okay and the devas were defeated by this demon called mahishasur so now because they were defeated so they assembled in the mountains and thought about it so then they combined their divine energies that coalesced into goddess durga this is how she was born the newborn durga then newborn meaning that she was a woman riding the tiger not a newborn baby but this is how 
and uh, this is also what we say that in devas they don't start their life from childhood they they are born but then they become adults immediately so the newborn durga led a battle against mahishasur riding a tiger and she killed him so thus the hindus always say matri devo bhav meaning mother is god and this sentence uh, speaks to the seemingly boundless endless all encompassing power of the earthly or the biological mother a power that equates with that of the divinity so i hope you liked my stories and the moral that comes with this mandala that all women should be looked upon as divine mothers respected and worshiped uh, please uh, maybe write in the comment or if you have any other questions you could always uh, email or or uh, dm me or we can have a discussion in the comment section and i always always answer because i am curious to know if you liked the stories in it and if you liked the information that i provided uh, for moms or the mothers and maybe i should have posted it on mothers day but like i said hinduism uh, we we have a mothers day every day and i think my mandala is almost getting finished there's nothing much left to color or draw so this is the finished product see you next time mm-hmm.